Hi, welcome to the attic. For those who don't know, my name is Kai. The previous episode, we were looking at different uh, multimeters. In this episode, we're going to have a look at this cheap one, this small cheap one. You can you can get it everywhere from all you know, like AliExpress. You can get it for like four dollars. We're going to have a look at this one and check if it is any good at all. Yes, it was a little more at the table than this uh, small multimeter. We also, re um, I have a power, uh, a power. I'm going to use this one to uh, to show how to measure uh, voltage. And I also have rigged up uh, my fluke, and that I did uh, for some reference to to check. Uh, the accuracy between those two. Let's see if it is. Is it okay? Is it good enough or is it um, crap? So, so let's start uh, to uh, to measure some some voltage. And I have these measure probes. And uh, how do we con uh, connect them? As you can see from this from this multimeter, we have these connections. It says common, which is common. Uh, it is black one. Common is always minus in electronics or ground if you want. And we, as you we say, we're going to measure voltage and it says here, there we have this red V and this ohm and milliamps and dial. So we, uh, we put the red one in where we see that V, like that. So what we can do, we can start to just test out this, this battery. Let's see if that battery is good. And uh, what I know from that, this battery, it, it is nine volt. Should say here somewhere. But anyway, I know it's nine volt. Should be nine volt. So then we go to this voltage, and it is uh, DC. Six uh, hundred is too much, isn't it? Two hundred as well. Twenty. Um, is that? decent what is next down that is 2000 millivolt which is 2 volt that is not enough because 9 volt is more than 2 volt so okay we yeah, do it like that so take black and red just put it on the battery and we measure out 1.74321 oh that battery is <laughs> not well. That battery is dead. Okay, confirmed. It also confirmed that the multimeter is working. Now let us compare it to this uh, this fluke. So I uh, switch on the power and also switch on the power for the fluke. And uh, how much? Shall we? It says 20 volts, so maybe we can get it up to, let's say, ah, take it like, do like that. 9.408 volt. So we see what do we measure out here. It says 9.38 volt. So it is like, uh, okay, how much? Uh, 0 0.03 volt difference. Ah, that is not bad. Can live 
can live with that. What happens if we switch those? I put red on black and black on red. And what happened? Oh, it says minus, minus three, uh, minus 9.37. Uh, as you see a diff uh, different score again uh, 9.3738 it is fluctuating but it is it is close enough uh, absolutely close enough let's see if we can measure some current uh, but <clears throat> Don't do like that when you measure current, because current is the flow of uh, electrons in, uh, in in cables and uh, and components. So if you try to measure current by parallel, in best in best case, uh, the fuse in your multimeter will. Uh, get destroyed in worst case it can uh, the multimeter can explode i have seen that happen before it was someone uh, trying to measure uh, the currency from a uh, 230 voltage uh, in ac and did it all wrong and the multimeter explode that was not pretty decide so what we do take this one this one is a funny funny thing this one this one is a resistor I say a resistor don't look that look like that uh, well uh, if if it is big enough it looks like this uh, this one is 300 watt, uh, watts so it can stand a lot of energy. So let's see if we can find some cables. More cables, more fun. Let's see. Do these clamps? It's okay. And what did I say? We measure. I need more cables. That's it. We. This a little down. Three volts is enough. So we remove those. switch off and now we are going to do it in a different way we have black on common and since I don't know how big current it is then I put it on maximum which is 10 amps there uh, This one I can replace. Uh, 
do it directly like that. Uh, and we go from there to uh, switch off there. And I need one more. That one. To there. And you say, and, uh, and some of you said, ah, you put red on black. Don't worry. Uh, current has one direction of flow. If it is, if it, if the display says minus something, it, it is the uh, the current flow anyway. If it is minus or uh, if it, it if it is negative or positive, it doesn't matter. Uh, so now I have the resistance. Uh, the resistance, and when I switch on the power, the uh, the current uh, going these cables to uh, this uh, this resistor, and uh, and to this uh, this multimeter. And since I was, uh, I'm not sure how big current it is. Then I put it on ten amps. I am pretty sure that it is not ten amps. So, 10 amps, and we we'll switch on. And what does it says? It says minus 0 0.6. So it's 0 0.6 amps, which uh, which means 600 milliamps. That is the current which flows through this resistor. Shall we check up? Let's check this one and see how accurate this is. I'm going just to switch off everything and replace this one with that one. Amps, milliamps. Let's see, I think we're going there. Mm -hmm. Because this one is uh, maximum for 400 milli uh, milliamps, uh, which we got proved that it is more than 600, millivolt, uh, 600 milliamps, more than 400. So, again, we connect that one to the power. This one to the black one, and I need one more. Do I really put that one there? That is correct, isn't it? Plus, through the multimeter, through the resistor, and to minus. So what happened now when I switch on? Do things explode? I have not done anything with this power, you have seen that. The only thing I did was to replace uh, uh, replace the wires. And measure out 0 0.6166 amps. That's a little more than this one gave us as an, uh, as an answer, but uh, it's, still, it's still less than 10% uh, difference. So, I will say, so far, this one is okay. It measures voltage, it measures currents, and that is, it does that pretty good for, uh, for, uh, for four dollars. Yeah, a short lesson, a short test. This one is not bad at all. It is uh, for a beginner, absolutely perfect. For my use, it is not uh, correct enough. Um, I would uh, I would spend a little more money to uh, to get some which is more accurate. But for 
just some fun work around at home and so on. This one, it's it works. It works perfectly. So as a conclusion for this one, worked perfectly. Check. For next video, I'm going to check this one up against my fluke to see what is the difference. <laughs> Let's see, maybe we check those up against each other and see if there are any kind of difference. So, that was it for today. Well, then you know what's going to happen for the next episode. We're going to check up this other multimeter. So, you have this drill again, this, you know, if I stand up a little, you have this black part of me, and you know, you see this like and subscribe better. You have these buttons below, click them, and also click this notification bell, so you get a notification next time there's a video published on this channel. So until next time, bye!